I'm, gonna, I'm teaching this course at Hampton University. They, they've never had the course. I'm introducing the course to them. And so they say, well, um, I'm teaching this positive psychology course. Um, it, 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 this, is, this is brand new stuff. This is right out the box. This is, this is cutting edge stuff that we're going to be doing here. And we have some, some different uh, techniques that they say, in the book anyway, it will increase your level of happiness. And so I would assign these different techniques to my students. One technique is, is, is um, uh, being philanthropic versus having fun. Now I said, which one would you prefer? Which would you prefer? Would you prefer going to a party, getting drunk or high, you know, um, having a good time and dancing, or help an old lady across the street? Well, to your surprise, <laughs> they chose going to a party. <laughs> You are surprised, huh? You're not surprised. Okay. Being philanthropic. Now here's the thing. Yes. And so I gave that assignment, and, and they did it. I said, I want you to go out here, and I want you to have a good time. I want you to party it up, you know. And I also want you to do something voluntarily to help someone else. Not just you, someone else. I said, okay. So they did that. And so they came back and I said, well, a week later, how do you feel about what you did? They enjoyed the party. They enjoyed the booze. They enjoyed the dancing. But the joy that they got from the, from the, from the, the party, the dancing, and the booze only lasted about a day or two. It doesn't last that long. However, the things that they, the kindnesses that they did in a more philanthropic point of view, that made them feel good for weeks afterward. Weeks, you know? And, and I know that works because it worked for me once. You know, I was, uh, I was uh, growing up in Boston and, and, and it was late at night and, and, and I was a bachelor, I was single, was before I met my lovely wife, you know? And I had, it was in the middle of winter, and anyone that's been up that way in the middle of winter knows it gets cold up in Boston. If you haven't been there, don't visit in the winter. Um, and if you do, remember, I told you so. All right? Because 20, 15 or 20 degrees below zero in Boston is not even unusual. You know, so you go out to get, get into your car, you might have to pull out uh, a match, heat up your key to your car, put it in and turn it really quickly because the lock will probably be frozen. And that's not unusual. So anyway, it was in the middle of winter. And so um, I went to do my laundry, you know, and, and it was about two o'clock in the morning, you know, and you know I must not have had anything else to do, you know. So I decided to drive, drive cross town to go to a laundromat. It was very cold and I'm, 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 I'm taking my, my, my clothes out the dryer and um, this guy comes in who is obviously homeless, you know, and uh, Irish guy, you know, and uh, we got a lot of Irish in Boston. We do Irish. We do Irish Catholic in Boston. You know, it's just like that. Of course, we do Italian Catholic and black Catholic too, but we really do Irish Catholic. He was cold. He came in, and I gave him a sweater, a fisherman knit sweater. Now you have to be back in the day to kind of remember, a fisherman's knit sweater, number one, is expensive. Number two, it's very warm and comfortable, you know? And I gave it to him, and it was like coming right out of the dryer, so it was really nice and warm anyway. And the guy gave me a kiss on the cheek, which is probably the most that he could do to show his appreciation. And that really made me feel good. Which brings me to another way of increasing your level of happiness. Write a story about something that put, brings out the very best in you. It'll increase your level of happiness. Let me give you a couple more. Time. <coughs> time. Give someone some time. Don't look at your watch. Go visit somebody that's not ambulatory, 
that can't get around very much. And watch how good you feel later. Another thing, blessings. <clears throat> now this particular one says that it will increase your level of happiness for about a month. A month. Here's what you do. Before you go to bed at night, write down three things that you're grateful for. <coughs> three things. And the reason that you're grateful for them. Let's just take for instance that you have a child who just had a baby. That could happen, right? Right? That could happen. I'm sure there's some grandparents in here. And you count this as one of your blessings. And so you write that down in your little notebook. Right? Julie had a healthy baby boy. Now you got to write down the reason. The reason could be, could be, because Julie followed the doctor's orders. Julie exercised. You prayed. Whatever reason that you see for that thing happening and being a blessing in your life, you have to write that down. Three things every night for two weeks will increase your level of happiness for at least one month. Gratitude. Gratitude. This is really one of my favorites. There's probably someone in your life to whom you owe a lot of gratitude and have not said thank you. Somebody. It could have been the janitor in your high school. It could have been the garbage man on your street when you were a child. It could have been your coach. It could have been someone in your life. Here's what you do. You write a letter to that person describing why you are so grateful to them. You don't mail it. You call them. You go over there to them and you read that letter out loud to them. After they well up with tears, and you too, it will increase your level of happiness for at least a month. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Take care and God bless.